Hello everyone! Welcome back to our Beastman campaign. Apparently, our Brace Shaman has booze cravings! And because of this has a minus 5% cooldown to Brace Scream! What? What? So there you go, if you ever crave booze, just go outside and scream. Maybe you'll cast magic too, like this Brace Shaman. I stuck the Bull Demon King into a um, um, encampment screen, or stance, so that they can get some of their troops back. And let's also upgrade them to a tier 4 bloodied lair. I want to try and get to the max tier so we can grab this desecrated altar, which will make their army even cheaper, which will be muy bueno. Um, then we'll move on from there. I think that's going to be the end of this turn. Let's go. We still need another turn to recruit the Minotaurs from Malagor, so I'm not really going to be moving any uh, more forward. We also need to heal up the Packmaster. Oh god. Hello, Astalia. How are you? Yeah, mission successful. Hmm. That's okay. I'm full. I'm cool with this. Oh, we still need some turns. Um. Well, actually, we need to make room for some Minotaurs, so let's just... Are any of these named? Bloodfire Horns, Pumbaa's Bodyguard, Mutton's Revenge... Oh, crap. They're all named. Um... Crap. Well... I mean, like, we can rename someone else the same name, but that doesn't feel right to me. And I don't want to just erase them by merging them in with other groups. So we may have to get rid of our Bray Herd. I refuse such but that would seem pretty silly. Ah, crap. Well, I'm going to have to put these two... Hmm. Alright, we're going to willingly lose some of these... Um... Oh, this Bray Herd, I guess. It'll be fine. It'll be... It'll be okay. Just... A quick moment of silence for the Bray Herd we're about to lose. Um... What do I want to do here? Do you want to give them both? Yeah. Yeah, we do, because they have the lower upkeep cost. I think we'll keep this Gorbul in Malagor's army, along with the Brace Shaman and these. Alright. Oh! Okay, okay, that's not bad. Only minus 8 transfer this time. Okay, we're still in it, we're still in it. Whew. And we're still going to just sit here in the encampment so we can keep getting our troops back. We don't have anything that goes against that, right? No, we don't. Uh, but we're not going to be able to do hidden encampment for you. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go up to the pack master. Okay, so our journey across the north needs to start. There was that army that disappeared over here that wasn't there. Hmm. I don't really want to get rid of any of these puppies because they have so many upgrades. Do we just sit here? Oh my god, we're at minus 2,000 a turn. Um, let's do a little bit of movement. And then try to encamp further along the coast. We need to get these numbers up. And I guess we're just going to take a hit of minus 2,100. Holy sh... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we'll upgrade you to the max, because then you can also grab the Desecrated Altar. But holy crap, that's going to be super expensive. But worth it. Right? Right? How much is that going to take? It's just one population? Yeah, we'll be able to do that. Well, but the money, though. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to go raising and raiding some more. Man, we have left the north in shambles. 
Weapon damage. Gosh. Craziness. Yeah, we don't have enough money to do it right now. That's okay. We will. Kind of in the same situation as in the south. I just, I need time to get our numbers back before we really go crazy. Because I'm about to declare war on, who are these people? Nordland? How much do they control? They control Midnight? Oh, wait, no, no, no that's Midnight. That controls Midnight. So they control these two? Maybe this town over here? Uh. Damn. It really sucks to not be raiding or anything. How much money can we get if you raid? 232. That's not that much. Hmm. 616. Well. Try and get your numbers up as well. We're just going to take some hits to money right now. Or do we keep going until we get the full moon in hopes? Oh, that's four turns away, though. Uh, let's do another turn in, in encampment. Shaman is cast aside while trying to dominate a Cygor. But he's the booze guy. Alright, so that Estalia army is right there. So they're going to try to ambush us if we move in. So that means that Bray herd that we have. Hey, buddy, how about you go attack that? Oh. Alright, I just need you to move. I don't want to declare war quite yet. And we're just going to kind of hang back and watch you spring the trap. I think. Yeah, sure, why not? We're going to move up a little bit more. And we'll encamp again, I think. And then next turn we're going to hit Norden. We won't be at full strength, but we're going to be stronger than we were just a little while ago. Hmm. Excuse me? Can you just move through our territory like that? What? Um, so if you're hit in a hidden encampment, you have no area of influence? Like, you can't deny them at all? Absolutely not. You're saying that entire Bray herd only dealt 62 kills for one unit in that entire army? Okay, auto resolve. Okay. Well, let's see how you like this. We're going to have to proc an ambush, though, or else they're going to run away. Uh, really? That sucks. We didn't get the ambush proc. Damn. Oh man, Antilia came in and just took those two towns over. Interesting. Well. Hey, the garrison's actually kind of strong. Hmm. Oh, yes. 
Oh, we get a little money. I just need to move close enough so that they are covering each other. Damn. I was really hoping to proc that. Alright. Well, we need money, so let's go after these people. Declare war. They are strength rank 10. Okay. Oh my god, Chaos Spawn, I- I thought Chaos Spawn were Siege Attackers. Okay. They're not. Alright, that's fine. We'll build a tower. The Bray Herd will get closer, I guess. Damn. Yeah, I just kind of thought all monstrous creatures were Siege Attackers. It's fine. Get away from me, Hawkman. Ah, now they're way out of range. Well, damn. Because that would have been beautiful if we crushed that Astali army right there in an ambush stance. Oh, our Minotaurs would have had a field day. But we'll keep going along the southern coast. Well, we have a choice. We can go and attack Tilia's new cities, where we just came from, and further corrupt this area. Or we can keep moving. I think we keep moving. Because the end goal is to have everybody meet around Bretonia, hopefully. Somewhere around there. Alright, well, we got fancy siege towers. That's cool. Where, what am I looking for? Controls? Alright, let's put you there. Who's in there? We have best of course, don't we? We have only one. Hmm. Well, I would rather the best scores take that. You guys at least have a shield, so you have a blocked chance. Get you over there. Put all of these mounted units over here. Chaos spawn, you can't break down the gates, so let's just put you in trees. Well, no, 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 we'll put you over here. I'm just gonna march all the way up. Uh, let's see, what else? Puppies. All the puppies. Over there. Beast lords. Gore herd with shields. Focus on the left, and that's it, right? Okay. That's a lot of puppies. Oh no. Never mind with that mortar team there, that's gonna suck if they keep hitting you. Absorb that uh, ammunition there, buddy. Oh, 
Okay. Ungor, let's focus down these halberdiers. Beast Lords. You're ready to go up? Oh, I didn't even move you. Oops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cross with fire, cross with fire. Not good. Not good. Hey, you can't even go up anyway. Mm. Well, we're going to have to break down that gate, so I'm going to send the Chaos Spawn in. We don't have good enough infantry to, I think, take the walls. So yeah, break down those gates. Others keep going up the siege towers. As soon as we break the gates, we have a ton of cool units that can go in there. Puppies are being targeted. Use the forest for cover. Actually, no, just come over here. Come over here. You have to spread out a little bit from those mortar teams. And pause. You don't have any special abilities, do you? No, you don't. What's gate at? I believe in you. That mortar team is annoying. Go up. Now you're attacking the puppies? Oh. Move over, move over. Shit. Actually, no, just go over here. Let's send those two up. Mortar team is super annoying. Nasa Wusa, Cloven Ones, Mongols, Sagam Arbath. Come on, break that door. Thank you. I'll let you get in there. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Lower their accuracy. We need to get into that courtyard. Shit, those swordsman halvers are going over.
Alright, well, sacrifices must be made. What is up, your pistol ears? Go this way, go, th go this way, go this way. Alright, so they are being... Yeah, we're going to route those right off the field. Alright, here come the puppies. They got the rest of the swordsmen. Alright, we're at the pistol off the field. There we go. I knew as soon as the gates broke, we could get a quick victory, but it's just getting those gates broken. I guess I should have got a ram instead of the towers. Our infantry isn't good enough to really do anything with that. Yeah. Hundred seventy kills from that mortar team. God. Brutal. Give me a lot of money, please. Uh. Potion of toughness. That's good. That's good. That's something. Now we got this bastard hounding us. Only a 8% chance to assassinate. Yeah. <sighs> We so bad. We do Uh, hmm. Do we just encamp again? This is lowering the amount of loss we're getting a little bit. Hmm. We need to take Lucini so then we can finish upgrading the Packmaster's building. But we're kind of in the same boat with you. We can upgrade your Cursed Labyrinth and then get this upgraded as well. We just need the money. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's in the turn. Pockland, will you stop chasing me, please? That is actually kind of what we need right now. The horde, the negative horde growth sucks, but I need that casualty replenishment rate. So one more turn, they're going to be all the way back up to full, and then the same should be. Hold on. 
So even in a raiding stance, we're still going to be able to replenish. Oh, I don't think I realized that when I did this before. But that lo looks like what's what's going on. Oh man, okay, that's not bad. That means you can raid while replenishing. That's pretty good. Uh, Razor Gorge Chariot. Razor Gorge Chariot. Hmm. Hmm. That would make our weapon strength um, armor piercing. I don't know if I want this guy to have a chariot or not. Eh, I mean, I, okay, I guess. I guess. Why not? So, let's see. Will we replenish even if we're laying siege? Oh, we can just attack straight up. Because we have those Minotaurs. All right, yeah, let's just attack it. I want the money right now. Before they send an army to uh, respond. As soon as we get those two armies upgraded with the upkeep, we're gonna be in a much better position. Much better. Eh, no, I don't think there's really need to gamble here. So let's go for... Sure, why not? We're looking at this gate right now. Let's go for it. But we do want... The Ungors with shields to go first. I'm gonna try and sneak the Minotaurs up the left. Because we want the towers to be firing at these units. Let's put you over there. Puppies over there. And. Actually, no, let's put you over here. So they're gonna march up. You're gonna march up. Let's just make you guys group four. We need all of you to get up in this corner so you don't get hit. You're gonna go over there as well. Okay. Whoa, they actually have forces over there. Okay. Now cut across and get to that door. That is a lot of crossbow fire. Shit. Get up there, please. Get on those walls as fast as possible, please. Damn mortar teams again. Gates broken. File in, buddies. Fargo 
Puppies get in there. Those pistol ears are cut off. help you guys out oh i'm too far away with that now hmm okay malagor um devolve has been changed so it shouldn't be as overpowered let's cast that to help our forces on the wall Summon a Saigor inside their walls. Take out that damn mortar team. What up, Saigor? Going to melee, buddy. Puppies are going to chase them off the field with these minotaurs. The rest of you, let's go over here. Yeah, pound them. Man, to have a cyborg just summoned inside your city walls, that must be. Upsetting. Ray scream. Ah. Do it anyway. Okay. Cool. So we lost some, but we have the casualty replenisher rate going for us right now. I was a lot of halberdiers they had, but luckily we didn't have them engaged against our minotaurs. All right, you have a couple banners. What have you got here? Manbane standard minus four leadership to area of sixty meters. Holy crap! Can I put them in the global? Hell yeah! Armor piercing damage plus ten percent. Oh man, that would be also good in the global. Or plus 10, not 10%. Um, we'll put this on, I guess, these raiders. That's not that much. Passive ability, Everbleed, constant. Oh, poison. Oh. Post battle chance of stealing a magic item plus ten percent on the flare. Um, well, I kind of want to put that on our brace shaman, but he's still wounded. The constant poison damage. Is kind of cool. 
I don't know if I want it on you. We'll give you the flare. Everything else is taken, right? What about Bloodhorn? What weapon do I have you with? Sort of mine. At the very least, I can give you Giant's Bane. Or do we give you Poison? I like that idea. Well. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Actually. Maybe we just take advantage of your high damage already and give you just weapon strength plus 10%. Instead. 22% damage. Uh, the Gore Beast doesn't really need a Noble Amulet. Yeah. Was Dawson? Physical resistance 15 at all times? Or just 22% damage resistance for 67 seconds? Yeah, I'd rather have the constant. Uh, what do you have? Zealot? Okay. Maybe there isn't a unit that I really want to have the poison. Maybe Malagor? He doesn't even have a hand weapon because I don't put him in melee. Maybe this will make me want to put him in melee more because he can hit an entire unit with poison. Mm, the Brass Cleaver. Actually, plus eight melee attack to enemies. And you have to be in melee. And it gives plus eight to everybody around. Let's give you the Brass Cleaver. And for you... Do we want you to have a Lux Dome? Yeah, well, we'll do the Opal Amulet. If I'm going to throw you into melee real quick, pop that, you'll be safer for a minute. Yeah, that's cool. And we, oh, we got level you too. Alright, so, what do we got? We got all of the basic magic. We can do Earthing. Actually, that would be pretty good because we do overcast some of these spells. And that would um, lower the miscast chance and self-damage. What's the Crown of Horns again? Leadership and an Aura. Yeah, let's do Earthing. And for Arancor the Berserker. So one of our gore bulls over here has the Unrelenting Herd. So then we can team you up with this and get Strength of the Land. So make them very defensive and offensive at the same time. And then I guess that means we would also give you the best of the beast. Which is what again? Leadership plus 15 and Hero's Army, which leads to leadership plus 20. Evasion chance when using Beast Pass plus 40%. That's pretty cool too. But I think we're going to go for the Strength of the Land first, which will give us 15 armor and then additional mad Missile Resistance. Okay. Yeah, Strength of the Land. So when these two Gorbuls are running together, because they're twins, I don't know, uh, they're going to be buffing up the entire... That's so crazy. These Gorbuls are totally insane. Um, armor plus three. You already have very high armor. Melee defense, though, is kind of low. So, sure. We'll give you that. So, that takes care of you down there. I'm going to get your forces back. I'm assuming this will make them go faster? No? It didn't change the amount that we're getting back, did it? Well, it does say it is improved because of our stance. Oh, yeah. eh. Still kind of learning these beast movement mechanics with this when one falls. And then for the pack master, look at that beautiful. Look at that. So good. The amount of recovery that we're getting. I don't know if I really want to move any deeper though, because we're going to be running into their army. But at the same time, you have Hawkland right behind us. And they are staying just out of ambush range, which is smart. Which is smart. I think we're going to do a hidden encampment. I don't really want to press any further deeper right now. So let's end the turn. Yeah, 
and the army that I want to have with the upgraded upkeep first would be the bull demon. Hey! Cool. Hawkland got closer. By Sigma, no! And our army should be close to full? Ish. Alright. If we ambush, we got him. Yes! Oh, you are so dead. Hawkland, you've been chasing us for so long. Just staying out of reach. Got a little too close, didn't you? Got your hand caught in the cookie jar. Now it's gonna get chopped off. Okay, so we got their range in the back. Beautiful. Spearman in the middle, swordsman in the front. So we want our chaos spawn in the front. We'll put a couple of our puppies, the Paw Patrol included up here. The rest of the puppies will go in the back. Pretty good, pretty good. Ungrel with your chariot, you're gonna probably lead from the front as well. You're gonna come in and to the side. Spears with their spears. Okay. Ungors. And we do need Ungors to go in with the Chaos Bomb. We need some kind of smaller unit to take some of the hits so the Chaos Bomb don't take them all. Alright. Start. You are going to charge right into the front. That should be able to hit. Just kind of scatter them. Focus fire. And just move up. Okay. I missed. Get him, puppies. Collapse on behind him. Beautiful. Charge again. We have chased the range off the field or eaten them alive. The noose is tightening. Perfect. You walked into the wrong forest, my friends.
Oh, I'll just eat them alive. Eat them alive. Get in there. Yeah, you guys are fine. Just don't shoot your own people. Or don't shoot into this. Let them get eaten. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Hard to walk forward, isn't it? How much health do you have left? Gotta die. This is the kind of part that's crazy to me. If someone is shattered, that means they're literally not trying to put up any defense, but it seems like their defensive stats are still in use. I think like they should have zero and everything at that point, except for maybe armor, because I guess even though they're running for the lives, armor's still gonna protect you a little bit. I don't know, maybe they just shed their armor off. Maybe they just go crazy, you know? There we go. Got ya. Impressive amount of kills from the puppies, as always. Don't really need the replenishment right now. I'll take the money. Yeah, sure. Why let them live? Hmm, okay. He now has the magic resistance of a dwarf. Level 19. Jeez. Hmm. Your melee defense is severely lacking. So let's raise that up a little bit. How many more turns do we have of this? Oh, only one. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Oh, no, 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 you know what? Let's not raid. Let's upgrade. So, yeah, we'll just go into Hidden Stance. Or, er, well, hold on. We should get some movement, though. Alright. There we go. So they have no army in Tilia. I wonder if that's because they moved their armies over here to take these other towns. It's going to be a shame for you, isn't it, my friend? Yes, it is. All right, research. Uh, tempting, but I need this money right now to build our upgrades for the horde. An attack was 15 for Ungor and Gore units. That's pretty cool. Let's build up towards that. We'll make our heroes and lords better, too. Because they seem to do have a very... Lacking in the melee defense department, especially. So this can help them out. And that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed our murdering rampage of all humanity. We're going to continue it. Again, the plan is to go through here. We're probably not going to be able to get through there. But we can use Bestial Pass. If we can use Bestial Pass to go underwater which obviously makes so much sense, then we can surely use it to cross these mountains and not have to deal with the dwarves. 
Because I really think they're going to be a... Well... I don't know. We have three Minotaurs. It may not be... It depends on what their army is, really. But again, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Take care.